I'd love to ask you a question that I think you ask, uh, f- I want to say founders, reasonably frequently, and I- I'm sure I'm going to get the phrasing wrong, but the question relates to key career decisions, and maybe you can uh, tell me first how you actually ask it, but I would just love to know how you would answer the question of absolute key sort of watershed decisions in your career if one or two float to the top of the list? We call them crucible moments at Sequoia. Crucible moments. Perfect. And my partner, Jim Gates, actually is the one who came up with that. I'm not going to claim credit. Uh, he deserves credit for the, the phrase. And we apply it to business context, by the way. And so I'll answer your question, but I think it's, it's really important for companies to think about crucible moments because often they don't even identify them. They, they don't realize that they face a crucible decision whether it's geographic expansion, product expansion, a key shift that the business must make. I'm not talking about pivots where what you try doesn't work. It's, it's something really different. At MongoDB, the decision to become a cloud business was a crucible decision. At Square, the decision to build Cash App as a personal uh, individual product rather than an SMB product, that was a crucible decision, very difficult to pull off within the company. But these decisions end up having a huge bearing on the ultimate outcome of a company, and so do they with careers. And so when I interview somebody, for example, I don't focus on, you know, tell me everything that happened while you were at this job. Tell me why you chose this job. Mm -hmm. How did you find this opportunity? What else were you thinking about? And what is it about this particular opportunity that attracted you? Why did you go to this school? And why did you not go to that school? Those are the more interesting questions. They're also indisputable because it's what you actually did. You know, you can't tell me that, you know, what am I good at? Oh, I'm a perfectionist. Okay, great. You know, it's just (laughs) a a glib answer to the question. (laughs) So for me, the crucible decisions, one of them was to join McKinsey when I qualified as an actuary. I took a 50% pay cut relative to what I would have been earning as an actuary to join McKinsey. And I had to pay back the bursary that I'd gotten from the insurance company. So it was a double whammy financially. And the bursary is effectively a scholarship? College. Yeah, but you have to pay it back if you don't go work for them. So the the deal was that they would pay for my tuition and I had to work for them for the same number of years that I studied to pay off the debt. And if I didn't work for them, I literally had to pay them back every penny. Hmm. And so, so I earned less and had the debt to pay off. I made the same decision when I joined PayPal. So I had a... McKinsey was paying for some of my tuition at Stanford and I had to pay them back. And what I was getting, I still have my offer letter. Uh, Elon recruited me to, to PayPal slash X.com and I have the signed offer letter still in my drawer. And uh, I got $80,000. That was my salary when I finished my, my MBA in 2000. And it was less than McKinsey was going to pay me and, and I had to pay McKinsey back. <laughs> and then the third one was joining Sequoia. And those are the three key career decisions. 